Shalom, shalom, family, and welcome to our channel, Manna for Battle, where we literally eat spiritual food provided by Yahuwah. And if the food you're eating doesn't look right, doesn't smell right, or doesn't taste right, then most likely you're eating at the wrong table. Join us and eat the spiritual manna straight from Yahuwah that will nourish your earthly body, lead you to Yeshua, who will take you straight to the Heavenly Father and your Celestial One. Now let's prepare for battle. Many of us have the word love twisted, that's right, and diminished it to nothing more than a word or a secondhand emotion. But love is a strong emotion that compels one to take action and may even require a sacrifice. All praises to the Most High Power. And with that being said, let's search this matter out. The three definitions for the word love convey the conceptual notion love is a strong feeling or affection towards someone or God. But note, these definitions are solely based on one's emotion, but emotion is a mental state accompanied with a physiological response. For example, if one is angry, a response may be to take slow, deep breaths until we are calm. The definitions for the word love are inadequate, in my opinion, as they fail to communicate the emotion of love requires an action. Consider this. The Father manifested His love, a strong emotion for us, when He sent the action, His only begotten Son, into this world. And when He came into this world, He was sacrificed. You see that? Emotion, action, sacrifice. But let's search deeper. Manifestation's origins are in religion and spirituality. Stop. Religion is man-made. So manifestation's origins are in spirituality because when spiritual things become real, it is called a manifestation. Love is spiritual. It is in an unseen realm, our mental state, and only becomes real when it is shown in the physical one. You see that? In John chapter 14, verse 15, Yeshua said, If you love me, keep my commandments. The emotion is shown with an action. In Mark chapter 12, verse 28 through 31, surmise, Yeshua was asked, Which is the first commandment? And he said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. I'm going to say that again. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. There is no other greater commandments than these. The action one takes to show love for the Father and our neighbor are revealed in the Ten Commandments. Though there are many more, we will use these for time's sake. The first four pertain to the Father, and the last six, our neighbor. You see that? Many quote Galatians chapter 5 verse 14 with little understanding as the word love that fulfills the law pertains to the treatment of our neighbor. Many different Bible versions reveal this. Let's read the NIV. The entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. The Berean Bible reveals the entire law is fulfilled in a single decree, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love is not just a word, it's an action. So let's search deeper. In Romans chapter 13 verses 8 through 13 surmise, we are told we have no other debt but to love one another, for he who loves another has fulfilled the law. Now listen family, listen. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, murder, steal, lie, covet, or if there be any other commands, it is briefly comprehended in saying this, Love your neighbor as you love yourself. You see that? Keeping the commandments that pertain to our neighbor are understood when one say they love or love their neighbor as they love themselves. Now I have a question. Are these actions of love? No, 
No, they are not. These actions are manifestations of evil and hatred which ignite the universal law. One will reap what they sow, and we are witnessing this law in full effect as I speak, repent, and keep the commandments which reveal we have shown love to the Father and our neighbor, then one can say they have loved and fulfilled the law of love. Anything else is just lip service, and this is just manna for thought. Shalom, family, and thank you.